I'm Ryan Brockington with the New Now Next Minute. In celebration of the recent decisions from the Supreme Court on the marriage equality rulings, we have some really great friends of ours joining us and just discussing the full gamut of what this means moving forward. Our friend Rick Jacobs from the Courage Campaign is joining us now. Um, hi, Rick. First of all, uh, amazing news, and I'm sure for you guys uh, at the Courage Campaign, because uh, you know Prop 8 was a big battle for you. Prop 8 was a huge battle for us. It's amazing news, and as, actually as I'm talking to you, I'm uh, getting almost a little teary. My partner uh, is on a plane. He uh, is flying from La, uh, uh, Washington, D.C. to San Francisco because last night he screamed, screened a film called Born This Way in the U.S. Capitol about the LGBT underground in Cameroon. So what great timing. I mean, the United States is now truly a beacon for a lot of other countries around the world. And right here in California, life's finally changing to normal. Yeah, it, it seems like it. And you know, I, now that this decision has come through about Prop 8, what does this mean for the Courage Campaign moving forward? Courage Campaign is a multi-issue organization. We have almost 800,000 members. People think we were founded uh, as an LGBT rights organization. Uh, that's not true. We started earlier than Prop 8. Uh, we grew dramatically after Prop 8 because people were angry and they wanted to go back to the ballot and they just wanted this over with. It's taken us five years and we're, and we're over with. Uh, Courage works uh, assiduously on a broad range of progressive issues, one of which we're very excited about is uh, I think the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community can now embrace this comprehensive immigration reform bill that's in the Senate. So uh, you'll see us continue to work on economic justice issues, on issues of making California more progressive and governable, and on trying to make sure that everybody in all 50 states has the same rights that we do here in California. Definitely. And, you know, while the Supreme Court did uh, make a statement about Prop 8 and how, you know, they, they decided to, to push it back to, to, the, uh, to the court before them, there, there's still a battle for Prop 8 in California in general, or could be at least. What are your, what, what are your feelings in terms of next steps for Prop 8? Well, Governor Brown and Attorney General Harris issued statements today saying that they would instruct all of the county registrars, the clerks of the uh, all of the counties of California, 58 counties, as soon as the Supreme Court uh, issues its mandate, which will be 25 days, and as soon as the Ninth Circuit Court uh, vacates its judgment, which it will have to do, and therefore the stay is lifted, marriages will begin in California. And uh, the governor and the attorney general are adamant about it. We're adamant about it. It will happen. So I think the battle for Prop 8 is uh, behind us. Now, there's one interesting twist, which is because of the court ruling, because uh, Prop 8 is invalid as concerns the U.S. Constitution, thank you to Judge Vaughn Walker's sweeping and excellent and historic ruling uh, four years ago, uh, August of 2010, we still have in our Constitution in the state of California uh, uh, a law that says marriage can only between, be between a man and a woman. So we have this archaic constitution, but thankfully the court has ruled appropriately. Yes. Uh, so with people in states that don't have marriage equality, what's next for them? How do they keep the fight towards uh, getting something established in their own state? Well, I'm from East Tennessee. And so I know a thing or two about how rough it can be in places that are not California. By the way, it can be rough in parts of California. And so as concerns marriage, which, by the way, is a very, very, uh, uh, it's a wonderful uh, right and a wonderful access that we all uh, enjoy. Marriage is a long way from people's minds in places like Tennessee, where the laws, they're still fighting right now. These don't say gay laws and all kinds of crazy stuff. I think what we've learned from this, what Courage Campaign has learned, is that you have to organize from the ground up and use all of the tools that are available to us, whether it's uh, this, the ability to talk to people remotely, whether it's uh, any other form of communication that gets the message out that we are just people. So I think the long way around Robin Hood's barn, the simple message is we've got great momentum now. We have to look to our brothers and sisters in other states where uh, things are not as easy as they are here in California, uh, and uh, we can't give up. But there's one other point, though. Marriage is marriage. It's important, but it is not everything. Uh, transgender people are still left out, largely, of uh, the whole discussion, really, 
what's going on in this country. And frankly, a lot of lesbian and, and gay people are, are still uh, left out when you think about a lot of the other issues that befall people in the country. So we have a lot of work to do. And marriage is a piece of that work. It certainly sets a tone in the country. And it certainly is the right thing to do. But we have a lot of work left to do. Yeah, I think you, I think you said it uh, very eloquently. It, people are people. And really, until we get to the to the point where we stop even using the word straight or gay and really just focus in on these are the rights of the people, we, we still have many battles ahead of us. So thank you very much for being here again. Rick Jacobs, our friend at the Courage Campaign. We're celebrating all week, all year, all lifetime here at Logo. And uh, we'll, we'll be talking to a lot more people. I'm Ryan Brockington, and this is the Noonan X Minute.